What's up, y'all? Happy Tuesday. I hope you guys are doing great today. We've got a special one for you, something I've never done. Excuse me, I'm drinking some beer. And that is Let the Ladies Cook Tonight. Where they're gonna bring to you Brazilian hot dogs, the same way we eat hot dogs in Brazil. Uh, they also call them uh, cachorro quente. And in Brazil, what makes them so good it's not that because it's two, three o'clock in the morning, you're walking out of a bar and you could be intoxicated and you eat like five or six of them, but they are delicious. So stick with me and these ladies are gonna do it for you the, en the entire way. I'm gonna simply translate for them uh, along the bottom so that you guys can understand what they're saying, but I wanted it as authentic as you can get. Please tell me what you think down below and the... Uh, uh, beneath the show more and I'll also put in there uh, the recipe of how you do it Thanks guys, and if you like more of this stuff, please comment. Tell me what you think. Cheers y'all And if you like what you're watching smash that like button babies smash it bow, 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 bow. Thanks guys. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining me on this journey and let's watch the ladies cook Olá pessoal de casa, hoje vamos fazer o famoso cachorro quente brasileiro. Nessa receita vamos precisar de apenas dois pimentões grandes verdes, quatro tomates é, bem vermelhos e uma cebola grande. Vamos cortar essa cebola juntamente com o pimentão e os quatro tomates. Pimentões, vamos cortar em tiras médias. Primeiramente, a gente retira todo, toda a semente do, do pimentão por dentro e depois a gente corta em tiras e depois em cubos. Então, depois de todos os legumes devidamente cortados, o pimentão, o tomate, a cebola, vamos cozinhar. É, Para esse cachorro quente, vamos precisar de 15 salsichas de frango e vamos deixá-las cozinhar por aproximadamente 10, 15 minutos no máximo. Depois disso, a gente escorre a salsicha, tira a água, é, vamos pegar uma outra panela, colocar uma dose de, de óleo em fogo alto. Deixa esquentar bastante a panela para a gente poder dourar as cebolas.
depois da cebola completamente dourada, vamos acrescentar o tomate juntamente com o pimentão. Agora vamos acrescentar o sal. O sal vamos usar mais ou menos uma pé de sopa. Ou sal a gosto de sua preferência. Agora vamos deixar aqui. cozinhar mais ou menos por 15, 20 minutos. Aqui são as salsichas, elas já estão cozidas, foram cozidas por 15 minutos. E agora vamos descobrir. Cinco minutos depois de Vamos deixar cozinhar por mais 10, 15 minutos. Depois de 15 minutos, é, de tudo cozido, vamos acrescentar o milho verde. A gente escorre o milho. Deixar cozinhar por mais 5 minutos. Ok, depois de tudo cozido, depois de 20 minutos, vamos acrescentar as salsichas. As salsichas, depois de cozidas por 10 minutos, escorremos elas. Tonight was a very, very special night because what I wanted to do was show you what a Brazilian hot dog look like. And how they say it in Brazil is cachorro quente. And I love Brazilian hot dogs. And we do this maybe once every, once a week or maybe once every two weeks, depending on what we've got going on. But I wanted to show you guys how the professionals do it. And the professionals being Rosalie and Kayla. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna show you how the gringo puts it all together. And trust me, this gringo does it just like every other Brazilian. So I'm just messing with you. But before we get started, we're gonna do a little bit of Aslan, a little bit of sorbet. This is a IPA. It is uh, 6.5 ABV. And what sorbet is, is a peach and mango IPA. That is pretty. Ching ching. Beep. Cheers. Mmm, that's delicious. Oh, 
that is just fantastic. I love IPAs. I love the richness. I love how fruity they are, especially this sorbet is just fantastic. Potato roll. This is just your normal Martin's potato roll. Nice and sweet. First thing that we do, and I also get this here. This is called Mendez. Mendez is a Brazilian uh, pimenta, which is a uh, hot sauce. First thing you do is layer it with cheese, shredded cheese. We use mozzarella. And, and this cheese is gonna melt whenever you put the hot dog on here. And so, take the hot dog. Actually, you know what, let me pull it down just a little bit. All right, guys, so let's give this a taste. Look at that, huh? It's so complete. Mmm. Mmm. That's where it's at, guys. Brazilian hot dogs. Cachorro quente de Brasil. You guys have to try it, please. And when you do, let me know and tell me, please, what you think. Thank you so much for joining me today. Well, joining the ladies today. I appreciate that. I hope you guys appreciated something a little bit different. And remember that life is about love, family, passion, and barbecue, guys. Take care. Thank you so much. Thank you for liking and subscribing to me. Have an amazing day. Take care, y'all. The tomato sauce, the hot dog, the crunchiness of the potato sticks, the corn, the sweet bun. Mm, 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 mm. Girl, get you some. That's what I'm talking about.